in class of how to make a, a cinema graph. So I'm just looking at my video here that I've already edited down to about one second. Made sure it looked okay. And I'm going to go File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And this is going to give me a couple of options. It'll either let me choose to import the whole video, or I could choose a portion of the video if I had not edited edited it down already. And it also lets me choose a certain like number of frames, like import every other frame, in which case a, a 30 frame video would give me 15 frames. So the first thing I'll do is double click the timeline panel and I'm going to try to reduce the number of frames in this animation to make the file smaller but also to make my job easier. So if I want a cinema graph of Scott blinking, I'm going to find the frame right before where he starts to blink. And it looks like it's around 13 or 14. So I'll, I'll click there and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the first frame and hit delete. And so now when I hit play, he starts blinking immediately, but I want to find the end of the blink because I can still trim a little. So I'll delete the last five frames by again holding shift and clicking and then deleting them. So now when I play it, it looks pretty good. And I've cut down a, a 30 frame animation to about 8 frames, which is great. So if I wanted to do a cinema graph style animation, the first thing I need to do is to make sure that I have a background image that's on every frame, in which case uh, it's, it's this layer from the very first frame. And so I'm going to select all my frames and then click the eyeball on and off so that now when you see it that one layer is on, active in every frame. And so if I want his eyeballs I'm going to draw a small selection around them and then use the refine edge tool to feather so that you see a little soft edge so now I've selected the eyes, but I need to select everything except the eyes. So I, I'll click Select Inverse. And now I've selected the background besides Scott's eyes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each layer and basically delete the selection off the top eyeball layer. So you can see that I'm clicking the, the layer that has an eyeball next to it, but I'm leaving alone the the layer that's towards the bottom that has an eyeball because it's my background and so I want that to stay there and so really even though on my layer panel it looks like all these are just white empty layers they have little eyeballs on them and so when I play it now it plays pretty smoothly and so I'll go save for web and give it a preview and it looks pretty good. Colors look good. And so I'll click Save. Save it on my desktop. Or wherever. And then I always like to test it. And so I'll open it and then drag the file to a browser. In my case, I'm just going to drag it to Chrome to give myself a preview. And it looks good. So that's all there is to it.